Wait, let me make my let me make my haircut good. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. Ciao, come sta e come è stato effettuare la sua premia italiana di Pandemonium a Trieste Science Fiction Festival? So, how are you? And how was the Italian premiere of your film here at the Trieste Science Fiction Festival? Okay, so well, uh, thank you for inviting me for this interview. I'm very well, uh, very happy to be able to screen my film in Trieste. It was the, the first time that I was coming to this festival and I've been hearing a lot about it. Many of my uh, fellow filmmaker friends, well, some of them already went there and they were telling me that it's really one of the top festivals that I absolutely should attend. And uh, I, I never had a chance of being there before. So it was really a blast for me to be able to be uh, selected here in Trieste. And um, as you know, my premiere was uh, yesterday and I discovered that's absolutely amazing uh, venue of this, uh, this theater that was absolutely incredible. So for a filmmaker like me, that like the, the design, like the image, it was really a, a great pleasure to be able to screen my, fist, uh, my, my film uh, over there. Cosa l'ha ispirato e cosa l'ha condotto a realizzare quest'opera filmica oscura e per certi versi abbastanza pessimista? Oh well. So, what inspired you and uh, drove you to write uh, such an obscure and pessimistic, uh, pessimistic story? And, uh, um, well, m most of my film are, I have to say, pretty pessimistic. Uh, I might be a pretty pessimistic person myself, even though I'm, I'm quite cool in a regular daily basis, but uh, um, I, I like, uh, I, I don't like happy ends, to be honest, and I don't like uh, also popcorn movies. I like uh, movies that really shake the audience and bring them a lot of uh, emotion, whether it's good or bad. Um, and what what inspired me to 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 write this film, uh, as I was saying uh, last night at, at the at the presentation, it was uh, it was an accident that happened to me a long time ago, 12, about twenty years ago, um, while I was um, I was surfing in uh, in Indonesia, and um, I got uh, caught into a current while I was uh, surfing, and I, I to make a long story short, I drowned, um, and. When I was underwater for for the last time, because there's so many waves, you know, like bring me back down and, and under underwater, and I knew I was gonna die. I really took conscious of the fact that there was really no hope about me, and I got really mad about it. I got really pissed off about taking the the, the knowledge that I was gonna die, and uh, I was very very lucky, and uh, I was uh, rescued actually. Uh, but I was I, I lost conscious. I went into a coma. And I woke up um, four days uh, later in, in a hospital. And when I woke up, I was alone in, in a white room. And uh, for a few seconds, when I opened my eyes, I remember myself drowning underwater with, in the middle of the ocean with no one around. And I really thought I was dead. Uh, and this feeling was absolutely uh, quite terrifying because I, I still had my feelings. Of course, I was alive, but I didn't know that at that time. And um, I, I thought it was a great, great starting point for, for a movie. What about if you wake up to realize that you're dead? Uh, so that was one of the, of the inspiration who got me into writing Pandemonium, this experience. That was pretty traumatic. It, 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 well, it was not the only inspiration that got me into writing Pandemonium, but that was really the genesis because I, I wanted to re-explore this experience. But uh, if you want me to tell you more uh, about Il suo film indaga più l'aspetto della sofferenza interiore che non quella, quella non fisica. Se ne parli. Ok. Yeah, your film explores, uh, I would say, more of an interior pain and not a physical pain. Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Because I wanted, I, I didn't want to go uh, uh, towards what exactly all the people have this imagination of hell that is just torture, uh, flame and, 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 and s physical pain. Uh, I didn't want to go that way. I, I think that um, I, wa I wanted to explore a pain that you feel by feeling the pain of the others. Uh, I thought it was a way more interesting way of dealing with the, with the hell. 
um, because uh, a personal pain is uh, is not as intense as experiencing and being empathic to the pain of the others. So I think I thought it was a much more powerful starting ground to depict uh, the, the 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 psychological torture that can that hell can um, put you in. And I also wanted to show that uh, hell can be on a, on a, on earth and on an everyday life, on a very simple everyday life. This is also you can create your own hell. You don't really have to go to this imaginary place that that that's this mythological place that calls hell. But hell can be uh, can be just by going to school uh, on on the morning. You know, you can live really a very hellish trip just by being bullied. Uh, and uh, so I wanted to explore a different kind of uh, uh, despair, loneliness, and pain. Un'ultima domanda: come ha lavorato su l'estetica del film? So, how did you work on the aesthetic of your film? But for me, uh, the, the the aesthetic of a film is always very important in all my work. And that is probably because of my background. Uh, I used to be a painter for 15 years. And then I went to photography. I do art and fashion photography also for a few years. So um, for me, playing with the light, uh, understanding uh, a frame and uh, telling a story by, by uh, by moving a, a camera in a certain way is very important for me. Um, I think uh, a lot of time, uh, in, in, especially in the genre film or a horror film, uh, sometimes the aesthetic is lacking for me. Um, I feel that sometimes that is really the, the DP that's taking control of the film over the director. And uh, I don't like that. I really like to work a lot uh, on the rehearsal with my DP. Um, and uh, so, so for me, this is a very, very important aspect of uh, movie making. Uh, it's not just a story, but it's also how you're going to tell that story. Uh, so, yeah, aesthetic is, is, uh, is really a primordial for, for, for my work. Thank you very much. Grazie mille. Thanks, man.